Now we'll discuss about the bite of lip, part one. First of all, we make a diagram. This is back of leg. If you cut the transverse section of the back of leg, you will find this is skin. Superficial fascia. Then this is deep fascia. After removing the skin, there is this is tibia, this is fibula. After removing the skin, you will find the superficial fascia. In the superficial fascia of the back of leg. There are numerous blood vessels and nerves. Here is here is dorsal venous arch, here is lateral marginal vein, joint to form, small surplus vein. This is small surplus vein, and here is large surface vein here is posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh here is numerous branch from surface nerve here is sural nerve here is sural communicating nerve and here is lateral cutaneous nerve of calf. This is lateral cutaneous nerve of calf. And here, posterior division of medial cutaneous nerve of thigh. This is posterior division of medial cutaneous nerve of thigh. Here is medial calcaneal nerve, which is branch of tibial nerve. So these structures are present in the skin in the superficial fascia of the back of the leg. After removing these structures you can see this is deep fascia. Deep fascia we are modifying this is anterior part this is posterior side here it modifies forms anterior intramuscular septum it forms posterior intramuscular septum and this is lateral compartment and in this compartment there are two muscles present these two muscles are peroneus brevis and peroneus longus and here is superficial peroneal nerve here is anterior compartment here is interosseous membrane in the anterior compartment, there is tibialis anterior muscle, here is extensor digitorum longus, extensor halsis longus, peroneus tertius, and deep peroneal nerve, here is anterior tibial artery, anterior tibial artery. 
we have the accompanying wheel. So this is anterior compartment, this is lateral compartment, and this is posterior compartment. So today we'll discuss about the posterior compartment. Posterior compartment is divided into two part, three part by two fascia. Here is deep transverse fascia, this is deep transverse fascia, and here is superficial transverse fascia, this is superficial transverse fascia. So this part is divided into three parts, superficial, intermediate and deep part. By two septum, this is superficial transverse septum and deep transverse septum. Here you will find this part is filled with tibialis posterior muscle, here tibialis posterior muscle is present and here flexor hallucis longus, this is flexor hallucis longus muscle is present, here is flexor digitorum longus, here is posterior tibial artery and tibial nerve, this is tibial nerve. And in superficial part, this is soleus. This muscle is soleus, and here is medial head. This is lateral head of gastrocnemius. These are two medial and lateral head of the gastrocnemius, and in between these two, there is plantaris. This is plantaris. So these structures are present in the posterior compartment of leg. Now there is another modification of the deep fascia. If you draw a diagram, This is calcaneum, this is talus, here is navicular, this is navicular, navicular, here is medial cuneiform, this is medial cuneiform, this is first metatarsal. And here is proximal and this is distal phalanx. So this is calcaneum, this is talus, navicular, medial cuneiform, first metatarsal, proximal and distal phalanx. Some posterior border of medial malleolus, this is tibia, this is posterior border of medial malleolus and here is a tubercle, here is tubercle of the calcaneum from here to here, the fibrous septa is present, this is known as flexor retinaculum. This is flex, flexor retinaculum. The structure passes deep to this flexor retinaculum. These structures are this is first of all this is tibialis posterior. This is tibialis posterior. And the structure extensor, sorry, flexor, digitorum, flexor, digitorum, longus, and the structure, oh, 
posterior tibial artery. This is posterior tibial artery, which divides into medial and lateral plantar artery. Then there is tibial nerve, which divide after passing deep to this divide into medial and lateral plantar branch. And next here is flexor hallucis longus. This is flexor hallucis longus. From here it passes like this and inserted on the terminal phalanx, the big toe. So these structures passes deep to flexor retinaculum. So this is all about the skin superficial fascia and deep fascia of the bicarpal leg.